everyone, my name's Nazy, and finally welcome to my stream setup video. I am so hacking excited to share this with you guys. It has been three years in the works and I've never done it because I'm like, my setup's not perfect yet, it needs to be perfect. But now it's close to perfect and I'm pretty happy with it and I just need to stop putting it off. Uh, so here we are with my stream setup to a video. Finally, finally. With stream setups, the logistics of kind of like cables, placement, all of that stuff, it's very important when you're kind of doing something full time, you want to make everything as streamlined as possible so you can be as productive as possible. Possible. So massive thank you to all the brands who contributed to this setup over the years. I'm so very grateful that I get uh, to use some of the cool gear that I have currently. If it wasn't for the brands, a lot of this wouldn't be possible. And massive thank you to my community as well who's also contributed and also given advice on what tech to upgrade to and yeah, just join in some like geeky conversations around tech, which I love. So thank you. So if you like this video and want to see more tech content on my channel, make sure to leave a thumbs up and a comment if you've got questions or anything like that. And subscribe because I love making YouTube content for you guys and yeah. Yes, it's the best way to get notified. Also turn the bell on um, and follow my Twitch channel. That's all the hashtag sell out things. Um, but yeah, let's get into it. Well, I don't know where to start. Maybe uh, this way, I don't know. All right, so let's start left to right. We're gonna go round a circle in the room. So this is just like a wall of posters I have. Uh, I feel like a 15 year old girl sticking posters on a wall. Um, but yeah, I collected some pretty cool posters over the years, especially the Borderlands ones. I love the heck and rad. Got some really cool, um, uh, for Doom and uh, that's by Zeus. I'll link it in the description. And uh, this is like my memory board. Then over here we have the infamous gumball machine. So um, currently I have the camera mounted behind it on a wall. I usually flip this around, it's facing the other way. And I reach over and do gumballs during stream. I just have a random plant here. Um, but yeah, that's, that's a plant. Just trying to get all aesthetic up in here. And then in this drawer slash cupboard here, um, it's kind of like an open out one with two shelves. So in the top here, I have my Omen laptop. I don't use it too often. I kind of bought it for like an overseas trip. So I use it for like cooking streams occasionally. I'm just feeling lazy and want to edit on the couch or something. That's what I use it for. Uh, it does all right. Laptops are just so annoying to do editing or anything though. So yeah, I hate using it. Focus, please. Uh, and then down the bottom, I have some power cables and stuff like that. And this is a, uh, a phone gimbal. So if you ever want a phone gimbal, these aren't bad. They're a lot cheaper than the uh, DJI or Osmo. This is a Xeon. Xeon something smooth Q or something. And it's a lot cheaper. Works pretty good. Um, yeah, I have used that a lot for IRL streams. I don't do a lot of IRL streams now, but when I do, I know I've got that baby. So I'll link everything in the descriptions below. So don't forget that. And moving on to the desk, let's go back to your camera mode. Alright, so we'll start with the microphone first. Uh, this is the Audio Technica AT4033A. Remembering all the names for stuff is hard, but remember, everything's linked below. Uh, so this is the Audio Technica 4033A. I have a full unboxing and setup video on my YouTube channel of this one. Uh, and yeah, I, this is a condenser mic. And Audio Technica, I am sponsored by them currently and they've been super lovely. I am like such a noob with audio that they've held my hand to be like, Nazy, this is what you need to do. This is how you get better audio. So they've been really lovely to work with. And yeah, upgrading to better audio now, I'm like, ooh, I sound so much better. So I am using the Rode microphone arm with it. Uh, they're pretty good. I think they're probably the best on the market and probably really the only ones on the market. I feel like every streamer owns these. I did originally buy a shitty one on eBay and and it was just shit so yeah it's just like it's better just sometimes to fork out get the good stuff save money in the long run and dealing around with crappy ebay stuff so that is my microphone on all right for lights lights i have uh the elgato key lights also have another youtube video up on my channel of them uh they're amazing like definitely another kind of like luxurious item to have like you don't need Elgato key lights but if you like a lot less cables a lot less clutter if you like to have things that are really easy to use then the Elgato key lights are great why I really really love them is because I have a sit stand desk so my desk always goes up and down so to try and get even lighting when you're sitting versus when you're standing and try and get something that works for both is like the nightmare 
So when they brought out these with the, uh, the desk mounts, I was like, yes, thank you, this is perfect. So, like they, I use these two on the side to angle down and get my green screen. Uh, and then I have my ring light to kind of light my face. Uh, I think it looks a lot nicer. You, you can go with one or the other, um, but yeah, they definitely create good even lighting for green screens. But I like to have a bit more light, beauty light, you know. Uh, on stream so that's why I have three. So speaking of the ring light, the Spectrum Aurora ring light, they're an Australian company uh, and they're super rad. Uh, nice big lights so you can change the, the lightness on them, let me show you. Little button at the back uh, and you can change kind of the, uh, you can change it to be like warm or cool lighting, you can adjust it. Go up and down, and yeah, you can change to be warm or cool or like in between. So, oh, my eyes are so bright. Oh, god damn. Uh, so you can, if you prefer like cool lighting or warm lighting, uh, you got the options there. I personally prefer cool lighting, so I like everything super white. Uh, but maybe, yeah, some people prefer warm lighting if you want to look all tanned. And I don't know what to do next. It's like, there's so much, and I'm like, oh, where do I start? Uh, so here we have the webcam. This is the Logitech C922 webcam. Uh, I think for streamers, the Logitech webcams are the best. Uh, I own several and they just look good, they're easy to use and I haven't really found any other webcam that competes. I used to mount it down below but it kind of like, I'm like being close to my computer screen so it kept cutting me off. So I've tried kind of mounting it up here. Also for the ring light, I'm using the Elgato multi-mount. That's really hard to say, multi-mount. Multi-mount, uh, thanks to Elgato. Um, the, the Elgato lights, pretty much everything I've got from Elgato I was gifted by them, so thank you. I love Elgato stuff so much. Um, and yeah, so that's made a big difference with my sit-stand desk as well. It just looks so much cleaner. A lot of the normal lights have the big tripods and trying to fit them behind your desk with also doing cable management. It's just it's really such a clutter. But again, if you're starting out, like, that, that stuff works amazingly and fine, but for me, like, Sit stand desk, it changes everything. But uh, yeah, definitely recommend sit stand desk. Which we should talk about now, should we? So, this is my sit stand desk. And as you can see, it is purple, which is like so amazing and definitely on brand. Although my hair's kind of bluish at the moment, just ignore it, it's just a phase. Um, but yeah, this is electronic sit stand desk. It is by Zen Space Desk. And uh, I originally had just like a white one, an electronic sit stand one that I had that I loved. I did so much research on it because uh, I really wanted to get a good quality sit stand desk that had the features I wanted, uh, namely a tray at the back for your cables. And they saw that I owned that one. I had it for like about a year and they reached out to me and they're like hey Nazi do you want a purple desk I'm like yes so recently they kind of yeah send this out to me and they just sent out the purple desktop so it's kind of like a bamboo desk with a purple wrap on it and oh my god it looks so good um, if you see with the assistant desk you can have uh, different profiles so I usually set up I usually start stream standing so if I press one dun, 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 dun. That's, that's, there it goes. There it goes, I can get off my knees now. Huh. If you live in Australia and want to get your hands on one of these, I do have a $100 discount code for you guys. So check out the link and information below if you want to get yourself a electronic sit stand desk. All right, now we'll move on to peripherals. Uh, for headset, very important, I uh, use my Audio-Technica headphones. These are the G1s. These are the wireless G1s. I also own the wired ones uh, because I'm terrible and forget to charge them. Uh, but these are super, super comfy. And I think they look pretty sleek. Like, I hate super bulky headsets that are like, whoa. It has a removable microphone as well, which is good. I hate headsets that have this giant, like, microphone thing that you can't get rid of. So this is really sleek. The audio is really nice. They're, like, super cushiony. I love it. And, uh, yeah, look at that logo. I just, everything about Audio Technica is so sexy. I love it. So I'm super fortunate to be working with them. And, yeah, these are really comfy. They're also good for VR as well. So for monitors, um, so I've got three of them mounted, obviously. Uh, so these two are the same. These are BenQ 2460s, I think they're called. I bought them when I first started streaming, like three years ago. And they're pretty basic. They're 60 hertz, uh, 1080p. They, they're good for kind of on the side, or if you do a lot of console gaming and don't care about getting sweaty with FPS games, they're good. I'd mount them. Uh, I do like having everything in portrait mode. I like to kind of have my OBS stream software here and then like music. And then the other one, I'll have like chat and kind of redemptions and follows and stuff like that. So that's how I like to run things. I think portrait mode's like best mode. Um, but yeah, trying to get it look good with your setup. 
The desk mounts are new. I used to only have one desk mount, um, but now I've got a couple more. I got these from Zen Space Desk, which the same place I got my desk. Uh, so my middle monitor is new. This was recently gifted to me, um, and it's like a proper, like hardcore gaming monitor, and it's super cool. It's got a 240 hertz, 1080p. So model of this one had to look it up. It's an Asus ROG. XG, oh it's a 25 inch, my bad. Full HD FreeSync's 24 hertz monitor. Anyway, I'll put a description down below. It's too hard to label everything. All right, more peripherals. What do we got? We have here the Logitech Pro X keyboard. This is their new mechanical keyboard. Uh, it has uh, replaceable keys. Uh, I teamed up with Logitech on a campaign for that one, and now I love the keyboard. I've also replaced all the keys with purple and pink, of course. Uh, so I bought that from Australian Retail, the keys, and yeah, I think it looks super cool. So this one, uh, I really like the keys. It's I'm using the red cherry keys on this one, and yeah, it doesn't have a numpad, which not everyone loves, but I personally love it because uh, I find when I'm gaming, I always like bloody knock the keyboard. So with a little more room, it's good. Um, but yeah, it looks amazing, I think, with these keys. And I think, yeah, it's totally over the top, but yeah, I love it. So that's the Logitech Pro X keyboard. And then for the mouse, this is the mouse. So I uh, haven't been using this one long. I really like it. So this is an Extrify M4 RGB mouse. Uh, and usually I love wireless. I usually use a Logitech Pro Wireless um, because I hate bloody cables, but here we are. I got sent this out by a PR company and it's so light, really, really light. Um, so yeah, you don't know what it's like using a light mouse until you use it and yeah, it's really hard to go back. Also looks cute. I know, what's that thing where people are afraid of holes? Yeah, sorry, sorry, but I think it looks cute. The RGBs uh, look really nice because you can see all the way through. The RGBs look damn sexy. And there's no software to control it. Everything's done by the buttons on the back, which is really good. I hate like stuffing around with software because sometimes it just won't launch. And then I'm like, why is my DPI wrong? So here it's on manual. I can be like, boop, boop, change DPI, go like boop, boop, change colors. Um, yeah, so don't mind this one. Extra Fi M4 mouse. Never heard of them until I got sent to them. Like, huh, not bad, not too bad. So here we are, that's my mouse currently. Also my mouse match just like when I bought off Amazon. I much prefer like a long kind of keyboard mouse mat thing. Um, and I, I like them thick, I like them thick. Um, I get like sore wrists all the time, uh, gamers wrist. So having it thick is good as well. So what else have we got here? Uh, this little thing belongs to my Logitech speakers. Uh, I think it's called a Z337. It's got Bluetooth and it's got a sub and two little speakers. That's what I use at my PC setup all the time. Over here, we have the Elgato Stream Deck. Uh, this was gifted to me from them, which is super rad. The Elgato Stream Deck is amazing. Again, it's just, it's a very kind of like over the top item to have. You don't need a Stream Deck if you're just getting started streaming, but it is very nice to have. Alright, this is my chair. So this is a Herman Miller chair, uh, an Aeron chair, and I am super, super, super lucky to own one of these. I was um, sponsored by them for a little while through an esports company, and I was very fortunate to get my hands on one of these, and they are awesome. Uh, so you can adjust them kind of everywhere. The mesh makes it like less pressure on your back, and you kind of got like, like two pressure points at the back, which are great. And yeah, you can basically adjust all the things, and they're really comfy. Uh, so if you're serious about ergonomics, which you should be, I do recommend uh, maybe doing your research. A lot of gaming chairs, I kind of have this like racer style and I'm like, why? Like a bucket seat car thing. Um, I really think office chairs, like generic kind of office chairs provide more ergonomics than those gaming chairs. Um, so yeah, just make sure you're doing your research, testing things out. And sometimes the gaming chairs aren't always the best for you. They look cool. May not cool for you back though. All right, it's PC time. So this is my new PC. Do have a separate video on my YouTube channel about this one. So current, I used to run a dual PC setup, but now I'm just running one because this thing's a beast and it handle it all, even my VR mixed reality stuff. It's got a 2080 Ti GPU, which like kicks ass. I was a bit skeptical about MVEC encoding. I like ignored it for ages. I'm like, whatever, it doesn't work. Um, but if you have the right settings, it could be quite a beast. So 2080 Ti, really great. 
runs everything pretty well. Um, the CPU, it's got an AMD 3700X, uh, which is, it's also got 32 gig of RAM, and it's got the pretty RGB Trident RAM, which is awesome. Um, it's got a thermal take CPU cooler and fans. And the case is the NZXT H700 case, uh, so it has tempered glass in the front, which is really pretty. Um, but yeah, that's my PC. And then for audio, I have these guys here. So I have a Presonus Studio 24C audio thingy. I told you I'm bad with audio. This is what I was recommended. <laughs> uh, the reason we went with this one because it has two um, audio capture ports. So I run my microphone up one and then I run this baby, the one on top, which is the Audio Technica wireless microphone. So this is like the receiver for my wireless microphone and then I have this guy, which I've started using for VR streams. I'm still getting the hang of it, um, but yeah, having wireless audio for VR streams like sounds a million times better. And I can also use it for other things like cooking streams or just like being an idiot on stream streams. Uh, so yeah, this is super awesome. I'm very grateful to have this as part of my setup. Um, but yeah, that's that baby. Audio stuff I don't understand, but um, it's super heckin' rad. And then we have this. This is one of my newest additions. This is a Audio Technica record vinyl player. Is that what they call them? And I love this. It's white and I've always wanted to play vinyls and collect like records. But I didn't have a record player, so now I do, and it's blue too. So um, yeah, it's in here at the moment. Probably gonna move it to my living room soon. It's in here and Bluetooth to my computer speakers. And yeah, currently I can play some Queen. And yeah, I love it. It's, it's super cool, and I, I just like looking at it. Be like, ah, oh, so cool. Okay, and then we have this thing going on. So this is a ring light. Uh, I think it's just a random eBay one. Uh, so this is a ring light I've got up here and then up the top we have a Logitech Brigo webcam. So what this does is light my green screen area. So this is where the mixed reality VR magic happens. Um, and yeah, so it needs a reasonable good lighting to be able to light this area. So I've got the ring light that does it and I also have this guy mounted up here, a little light there. I recently upgraded to the Logitech Brio. It's a uh, reason I did that. A, it does uh, 60 frames per second in 1080p. A lot of the other webcams don't have 60 frames for 1080. And it's also wide angle so you can fit more of yourself in on the webcam. So let's start here. This is my Oculus Rift, uh, which I love. Like VR has brought me so much joy. Uh, in particular, Beat Saber. So if you don't know, I stream and play a lot of Beat Saber. I love Beat Saber, and it wouldn't be possible without this little baby. Um, so yeah, this is the Oculus Rift. Um, I think now they don't really exist. There's the Oculus Rift S, which is the replacement one, which doesn't have the sensors. It's all built-in sensors. So yeah, I use this currently. I may upgrade one day. Um, but I, yeah, I may make a video as well comparing all the different VR headsets. If that interests you, let me know. And then over here, we have a PlayStation 4 in white. Uh, so I'm a PlayStation fan. Um, I owned this one for a while. And speaking of PlayStation and VR, combining my two loves, we have a PlayStation VR on a skull. I put it on a skull. And then we have my Nintendo Switch. To be honest, this thing collects a lot of dust. <laughs> But when I do travel, I don't use it either. No, like, Nintendo Switch is rad, collects a lot of dust. I may sell it one day, but I don't know, I kind of like having it. For maybe one day I will want to play it. So for cables, I've done a sneaky trick, and I've cut a hole in the back of this one to hide the power supplies. And oh my god, this is a reality of cable management. Now don't judge me. Don't judge me. It is it is freaking hard. I have tried. Like with all this stuff in a sit stand desk, it's, it's an impossible task, okay? I have tried. Put your judgment comments away, okay? And then in here, oh, this is like, oh, audio draw. So we've got like headphones, uh, microphones, a lot of audio stuff. And then this one's controller draw. So we've got some old PlayStation controllers, PSVR uh, controllers, my Oculus controllers are in there. And then this is just like shit I need to deal with. Let's not look at that. So we have this. This is a Borderlands Diamond Loot Crate. And is now my like hardware drawer. Um, so feel free to 
junk again. Like, yeah, it's just got a messy and shit. <laughs> it's got messy everywhere. And then over here, we have my bookcase, which I will probably do a separate video on. And I also use an Elgato green screen. These things are the bomb. I used to stuff around with like the fabric ones, and they're a nightmare. Uh, these, a uh, yeah, they're super good. You can just fold them away, and yeah, nice flat background. Yeah, just pick it up. Oh yeah, there we go. Green screen ready. I only wish they were a little bit wider. Ready, can puppy? So, I think that's everything. I think that's everything in my setup. It's like, I thought it would go way longer, but uh, yeah, that's everything. Thank you so much for watching this video. I will be doing a separate video on my mixed reality setup because that's a whole other thing. Probably make it like a tutorial. I'll probably do another video on my bookcase because I want to go into detail and we ain't got all day. Thank you so much for watching this video. Upgrading my setup and spending time trying to get it perfect has been such a joy of mine. I generally, whenever I feel stressed or like frustrated, I like, I love coming to my office trying to like clean it or like tidy it and try and make it better. Like it's not perfect, but um, I enjoy the challenge of always trying to improve it, upgrade stuff, and yeah, I just love new tech. So yeah, it's been lots of fun. And massive thank you to all the brands who've contributed to my setup over the years. I'm very grateful to be able to use some of the tech that I have. And also my community for supporting me forever and just being amazing. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you have any questions, don't forget to ask them below. I'll leave links and info to all the tech stuff in the description as well. I have a website on my stream as well. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for watching this video. Don't forget to leave a like if you like it and subscribe and do all the, the things that you meant to do on YouTube. But yeah, thank you, stay awesome, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!